Dreamers, today we're bringing you the episode that we have all been waiting for. That's right, zombies. We are so obsessed with all the kids of Seabrook High and couldn't wait anymore to share all of our favorite zombie mashups and verses. Don't forget to subscribe for more zombies fun. Hey Dreamers! We're mashing up two of our favorite Disney Channel movies, Descendants and Zombies. But before we start, subscribe and click that bell. We have new videos every Tuesday and Thursday. And we talk about Descendants, Zombies, and Disney like all the time. <laughs> Speaking of, let's start this mashup. Starting off with the boys with brains. Or should we say the boys who like brains? <laughs> True. Mal and Addison are both smart in their own ways. Anyway, even though one is a king and one is a zombie, these two have tons in common. Both of them are the sweetest guys ever. Ben wants to give the villain kids a chance to live an awesome life. They didn't choose to be villains. And Zed is the guy who wants to have an awesome life. But despite his not so awesome stitch, he still makes the best of things. Exactly, Ben and Zed are very optimistic about the future, even if there are a lot of obstacles. We're calling this mashup Zen. He does look pretty chill. <laughs> Next, we're talking Evie and Brie, who are basically the same person. I totally see what you mean. Out of all their friends, Brie and Evie are the most excited for their new schools. Plus, both of them are super protective of their best friends. Brie doesn't want Addison's heart broken or eaten by Zed. <laughs> and Evie is concerned when Mal leaves Aradon and says that she wants to stay on the aisle for good. So we're calling this mashup Breezy. Now let's talk about the muscle. <laughs> AKA Bonzo and Jay. Bonzo may look scary to the people who don't know him. But from the beginning, we know Bonzo has a heart of gold. I mean, who doesn't love hugs? And even though Jay isn't the touchy feely type, he definitely cares about his friends just as much as Bonzo does. This mashup is Faye. Next up are the two geniuses of the group, Carlos and Eliza. That's right, Eliza isn't a zombie that eats brains, she is the brains. <laughs> she hacks into Zed's Z-band so that she can control how strong his zombie abilities are. And while Eliza is very outspoken, Carlos is very shy. But he's just as smart as Eliza is. He finds where Fairy Godmother's wand is, he hacks into the museum's alarm, so many cool things. And spoilers if you haven't read the books, he even breaks the aisle's barrier. I wonder what he'll be up to in D3. We'll just have to wait. <laughs> but for now, this matchup is called Carliza. Next up are Audrey and Bucky. Okay, these two have so much in common. Definitely. Audrey was not thrilled to have the VKs of Auradon. To be fair, Maleficent did try to kill her parents. And the zombies tried to eat Addison and Bucky's grandfather. <laughs> but hey, it was just a bite. <laughs> Both characters realize that they can trust the VKs and or zombies so that everything works out. Even though Audrey still thought Evie and Mal were sus in Descendants Wicked World. We'll just have to wait and see what happens with Audrey and Descendants 3. Yeah. Sarah Jeffrey is back and we are super happy about it. <laughs> We're also happy about this mashup. This one is called Baudry. <laughs> Last but not least, two of our favorite characters, Addison and Mal. Both of these ladies deal with other people's expectations of them when deep down, they just wanna be themselves. Addison wears a wig to cover her natural hair because people in Seabrook don't like it when people are different. And Mal has her own expectations in D1 and in D2. Yeah, in Descendants 1, she tries to be as evil as possible to make her mom happy. Maleficent was pretty hard to impress, but she is the baddest villain of all. <laughs> but when Mal decided to be good, she felt the pressure to meet all of Aradon's expectations. But in the end, both Mal and Addison decide to just stand and be who they are. This mashup is called Madison. <laughs> And no, we don't mean our friend Maddie. <laughs> That's it for now, Dreamers. Hit like and leave a comment with your mashup ideas. Hey, Dreamers. Today's versus video takes a walk on the Disney side. It's got ROM, it's got COM, and even a pinch of ZOM. So fasten your Z-bands and get ready to cross the magical border. It's time for Descendants versus Zombies. Bam! Bam! Okay, so you know that we already heart Descendants. <laughs> but we are beyond excited for the upcoming movie, Zombies. The new trailer is amazing. The music, totally lit. <laughs> so let's see how these two mega movies compare, if we dare. Let's start with the B Factor. In Descendants, we have the Royals versus the Villains. 
The royals and fairy tale characters live in the peaceful kingdom of Ardon. Ruled by the beasts, all the children of said characters are allowed to attend Ardon Prep. Now the V's of this island were banished to the Isle of the Lost 20 years ago. Protected by a magical barrier, they are powerless and pretty angry at King Beast. But flash forward to a new decree, a new king, and Mal and the VKs crossing the border, and the whole bad theory gets challenged, even if some locals think you're sus. <laughs> For zombies, we have Zoms vs. Poms. Set in the simple town of Seabrook, a tragic accident and a green haze turn a bunch of people into zombies. Then they get banished to Zombieland until the Z-Bands save the day. Z-Bees are electronic bracelets that send soothing electronic pulses and take away the Zoms craving for... BRAINS! <laughs> So, the Zoms are allowed to re-enter Seabrook and attend Seabrook High. The only catch, the competitive cheerleaders and football players aren't happy with the new social scene, and they're also scared for their lives. But which movie deserves the V for versus victory? We're calling this one a total tie. <laughs> Next up, let's see which high school rules and which rules. Descendants has Auradon Prep. The old beast castle turned to school for fairy tale characters, and then the VKs too. Run by headmistress fairy godmother, classes offered include remedial goodness, life skills, and fairies 101. Also competitive, school sports include swords and shields, captained by VKJ. And a tourney team called the Fighting Knights, led by Captain Ben Beast, which also has its own marching band and cheer squad. Seabrook High is totally competitive. Apparently, they take football and cheer to a new level of crazy. <laughs> the students at SH all dress and act the same, positively perfect and pink. They are so over the top. They even have zombie safe rooms and fire alarms called Z Alerts, just in case their protection's at risk. Plus, their mascot is shrimp with boxing gloves to defend their perfect championship record. So which school do you think is cool? Let us know in the comments below. Now, let's look at both movies' OTPs. <laughs> the unlikely but still perfect coupling from Descendants was Ben and Mal. In the beginning, Ben was dating Audrey, daughter to Sleeping Beauty. And Mal was the daughter to one of the most evil villains ever, Maleficent. The evil plan was for Mal to gain control of the magic wand and break the magical barrier during Ben's coronation. But the connection couldn't be denied, and it proved that their love was worth fighting for. <laughs> Mal even turns all dragon to protect him in Descendants 2. That was totally my favorite part. Agreed. <laughs> <laughs> At Seabrook High, we also have an unusual romantic pairing. There's Addison, the cheerleader, and Zed, the zombie. Oh my god, Milo Manaheim, who plays Zed, is so cute! Well, in zombies, he's also so dead. <laughs> yeah, but Zed is also funny, athletic, and can totally bust a move. And Addison is fed up with her perfect life and ready to go beyond the norm. We're not exactly sure how it turns out, but it's clear in the trailers that they have a special connection. So, just because we know them more, we're gonna go with Mal and Ben, or men for the OTP win. <laughs> but we'll see how we feel after Zombies comes out. Time to rock it out and see which music makes the movie. Both DCOMs are musicals, which means there's tons of songs and dance moves to obsess over. Did you know that Descendants was actually supposed to be just a rom-com? I can't imagine Descendants without music. <laughs> I know, it's like having cake without frosting. Ugh. <laughs> I mean, could you imagine no rotten to the core, if only ways to be wicked or, or chilling like a villain? <sighs> Definitely not. That's insane. And Zombies is a full-out romance, rock-style, break-the-rules kind of musical. <laughs> Unfortunately, we only have one song to go by, but it is seriously addicting. OMG, I would totally want to party in Zombieland. <laughs> oh my god, so do I, Alyssa, so do I. I mean, seriously, let's face it. Any Disney movie is going to rock out musically, so let's just call this a get-back-to-you-later vote. I don't know. Tell us what you think in the comments. Lastly, let's look at creative conflicts. In the Descendants world, we had the whole villains will be villains problem. Even with the magical barrier and King Ben trying to do good, the villains are always restless. In Descendants, it was Maleficent trying to steal the magic wand through her daughter. And in D2, it was Uma trying to steal the wand and the heart of King Ben. But even though both movies had a happy ending, we know there's still more to come. Uma even hinted at a possible return. Dun dun dun! <laughs> For the zombies, it's tricky. It's not their fault they became zombies, it was caused by an accident. And the only reason they're allowed to go back to Seabrook is because of the success of the Z-Bands. But the Z-Bands are the only thing that's keeping them from going savage. And like any other electronic device, sometimes the Wi-Fi can go bye-bye. 
We're not sure what's gonna happen, but we know we'll be squealing with joy to watch and find out. Oh, I seriously cannot wait. <laughs> so in the case of creative conflicts, we're going with the Zoms. Alrighty fans, what'd you think? Are you more of a Team D or Team Z? Let us know in the comments below. I legit cannot wait to see zombies. Yeah, and I'm going to make us some green popcorn for the occasion. Brains. <laughs> hey, dreamers. We're getting a Descendants 3, but what about a Zombies 2? There are still so many questions left unanswered. Let's count down all of the reasons why we need a Zombies 2. Tell us in the comments below what you guys would want to see. Let's get started. Number one, do kids like Zoe get to go to school too? Remember that totally adorable bonus scene where Zed, Addison, and Zoe are playing with her new dog? Uh, yeah, Zoe finally got a dog of her own. Before that, Zombies weren't allowed to have pets. That got us wondering, what other privileges do zombie kids get? We know that Zed, Eliza, and other teen zombies get to go to Seabrook High, but we never see kids at their own school. Yeah, we'd like to see Zoe make some friends at her own school. Number two, are they gonna fix zombie lab? Some of the zombies might like the way it looks, but there's no harm in fixing things up. Seriously, they deserve to have their houses look as amazing as they want. I mean, some of the things there do need fixing up. Number three, Bree and Bonzo. Or should we say Bronzo? Bonzi? Huh, what would their ship name be? That's a good question. You guys should tell us in the comments below. There's totally something going on between Bonzo and Brie. Whether it's a romance or a friendship, we can't wait to see what happens next. These two are the sweetest and they definitely make a great pair. Number four, what caused Addison's hair to turn white? I've been wondering that too. Even the doctors don't know. But it seems that one other YouTuber does. One of our fave channels, Watso Videos, has an interesting theory. You guys remember that? When the zombie outbreak first happened, a zombie bit Addison and Bucky's grandpa? Well, Isaac from Watso Videos thinks that that might have affected the other family members. So that would make Addison part zombie. Wait, does that mean she needs a Z-band too? OMG, I need to know. Same, will her zombie appetite take over? This is why we need the zombies too. Number five, what's gonna happen to Addison? It looks like they don't have to keep their relationship a secret anymore. But Addison's parents clearly don't like zombies. And they want everything to stay normal. Will they forbid her from seeing him? Will they make her hide her hair again? True, they're totally obsessed with how other people see them, which leads us to number six. How are other people gonna treat the zombies? People in Seabrook are starting to accept the zombies, but how will the rest of the world feel? Right, like what about when Zed and his friends go to college? What's up, dreamers? Welcome back to Dream Mining. We have another awesome mashup for you. Yeah, we are so excited to bring two of our favorites. <laughs> That's right, today we are mashing trolls and zombies. This is gonna be so fun, I can't wait. Well, you don't have to. Yes, girl, trolls and zombies starts now. For our first smash today, we start with DJ Suki from Trolls. This troll is always upbeat and always brings a beat wherever she goes. Suki is known for smiling and making people smile with her music. Totally, she is peppy and everyone loves her, which is why we're mashing her with Zoe from Disney Zombies. Zoe is the little sister of Zed who wants to be a cheerleader one day, but what she really wants is a real life puppy. And who can blame her? Who doesn't love puppies? I know I do. <laughs> anyway, Zoe is so kind and everyone she meets just loves her. So this lovable mash is DJ Zoe. Our next mash begins with Chef from Trolls. Chef was the head cook and loved by all. That is, until all the trolls escaped from the Bergens. They all blamed her for the trolls' escape. Now she has been wandering the forest and is looking for revenge. Yeah, she really cooks up a plan to get back at the trolls. Ah, uh, I see what you did there. <laughs> all Chef wants is for everyone to eat her food again. So, we're mashing her up with Bucky from Zombies. But Bucky doesn't want anything to do with the zombies who are now in his school. And as the head cheerleader, he makes sure that he uses his power only for himself. Bucky doesn't want any of the zombies on his cheer squad, even though they have great moves. <laughs> so, we're calling this mean duo, Chef Key. We're not done yet, dreamers, but don't forget to click that bell and subscribe. For this next mash, we take the troll, Bridget. Bridget is the assistant to Chef, and Chef is so mean to her. Yeah, she's always yelling at Bridget. Bridget also has a secret crush on Prince Gristle, who ends up liking her too. OMG, it's like Bridget is Cinderella. That's so true. And we're mashing this lovely assistant with Eliza from Zombies. 
Eliza has more confidence than Bridget. She knows that just because you're different doesn't mean you can be treated badly. Oh yeah, for girl power. And Eliza is always making the best of her smarts by helping out Zed and the other zombies. Yeah, she is legit genius with computers. This supporting pair is Briliza. Next up, we have Branch from Trolls. Branch doesn't like to sing or dance or hug, which is like the best part of being a troll. <laughs> Branch is paranoid because the trolls are different from him, but he learns to not be so scared. And Branch is voiced by Justin Timberlake, so that's pretty awesome. <laughs> yeah, which is why it's awesome that Branch eventually likes to sing, cause that would be a shame if JT doesn't even sing. Facts. And we're mashing up Branch with none other than Zed from Zombies. Zed is the singing, dancing, football playing zombie who just wants to fit in. He's at a new school and doesn't understand why humans and zombies can't get along. But along the way he learns that humans aren't all mean and that zombies do have a place at Seabrook High. We're calling this dynamic duo Zanch. It's our last mash, but don't be sad, it's definitely a good one. We save the best for last. <laughs> we start with Poppy from Trolls. Poppy is the upbeat and always kind troll who is constantly hugging her friends. <laughs> she is so nice to every troll and her hair. You could probably fit all your stuff in it. <laughs> Poppy wants the trolls to be free and will sing and dance her way until that happens. So we're mashing her up with Addison from Zombies. Addison is the happy cheerleader who wants humans to treat the zombies kindly. Even when her cousin Bucky is mean to them. She's an amazing singer and dancer and develops a strong crush on Zed. Oh my gosh, when they sing together, it's amazing. I know, I get chills. <laughs> so we're calling this kind and upbeat pair, Poppy Sun. What's up guys? We know you guys have been waiting for like, ever for this video. We love, love, love zombies here. Both the movie and just like all the time. More zombies equal more better. So today we are doing an epic Zombs versus Poms. Zombies are all about music and dancing. And you know the Poms know how to bust a move. Bust a move? Dude, you sound like my grandma. Nobody says that anymore. Whatever. Anyways, so who has the better dance moves? Well, the palms obviously have rhythm, flexibility, and synchronized moves. I mean, hello, they're cheerleaders. Yeah, but the zombies have the dance power of the undead. They have a certain, I don't know, ghostly quality about them? Zombies are not ghosts. <laughs> you know what I mean, and you guys know what I mean, right? Who do you think are the better dancers? Zombs or palms? I mean, so much for this movie is about cheering and cheerleaders. So, who would you say has more school spirit? Well, since the Zoms are technically transfer students from Zombieland, I'd say the OG Seabrook human residents, the Poms, def have more school spirit. I think you have really good school spirit, Christina. Who, <laughs> me? Yeah. Can you show me a cheer from your school? Oh no, this is embarrassing, but okay. We got spirit, yes we do. We got spirit, how about you? <laughs> what do you guys think? Let us know who you think has more pride in their school and if you liked my cheer. Let's take a sec to talk about fashion. Okay, well, the Pond's fashion is a bit more bright and light and peppy. Yeah, lots of pink, lots of cheerleading outfits, lots of, like, letters on their clothes. <laughs> well, the Zoms are more of a grunge look. Yeah, their style is darker, with more greens and reds, and of course, colorful hair. Oh, I love Eliza's tights. <laughs> Yes, I mean, honestly, for me, I think the winner of the fashion competition here is the zombies. I'm gonna have to agree with you. They're edgy and I'm loving it. But what do you guys think? Let us know in the comments below who's your fashion icon. All right, so there are so many awesome songs in this movie. Yeah, everyone just breaks out in song during normal life. As if that's a thing people do? I don't know, I mean, I just randomly sing about pretty much everything. I'm here with my video and my friend. We're gonna go get ice cream after this and maybe do some homework. Yeah, right, just kidding. You know we're gonna watch YouTube videos. Wow, that's interesting. Thanks. So anyway, we're comparing which singer do you like more? Yeah, Zombie Dude, Milo Mannheim, AKA Zed. Or Cheer Queen, Meg Donnelly, AKA Addison. Okay, well Zed really breaks it down and raps like a pro in my year. Yes, I love that part. And seriously, I love Addison singing Stan. It's like a super girl power anthem. Plus, Zed and Addison's duet Someday is just like, ugh, goals. Yeah, so I'm thinking it might be like a tie on this one. Both have such beautiful voices and like really feel the music. Yeah, but what do you guys think? Are you team Zed? Or team Addison? Comment.
What's up, dreamers? We've got another awesome mashup for you guys today. You guys asked for this and we listened. We're gonna take the plastic world of Barbie and the zombies of Seabrook High and mash them together. <laughs> this is gonna be so fun. So Barbies plus zombies starts now. For our first mash today, let's start with Stacy from Barbie. Stacy is the athletic sister of Barbie who is very organized. <laughs> yeah, like she can be a little bit of a drill sergeant around everyone else. Listen, you have to be dedicated to be an athlete. <laughs> she can come off as a little bit much because she's so energetic. And her mash today is with Lacey from Zombies. Lacey is part of the Mighty Shrimp and is a really good cheerleader. She is also part of the Aces, where certain cheerleaders change their names to end with AC. Addison doesn't want to change her name, but Lacey is all like, who cares, my real name is JJ. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I would change my name, but this athletic and hyper pair is Stay Lacey. Our next mash starts with Chelsea from Barbie. Chelsea is the youngest sister of Barbie and is so cute. And she knows how to work that cuteness because she always has the right thing to say so she can get what she wants. <laughs> and she really loves animals, especially their cat, Blissa. Oh my gosh, Blissa is so cute too. And Chelsea always takes really good care of her. The best mash for her is Zoe from Zombies. Zoe is also super kind and sweet and just wants a dog so badly. But she's not allowed to get one, so she just pretends that her stuffed animal Xander is a real one. Oh my gosh, I was so happy when she finally got a dog. I know. These two animal lovers are Zosie. We're not done yet, and we hope you guys are having fun. We definitely are, and don't forget to subscribe to Dream Mining. For sure. And this next match begins with Nikki. Nikki is the smart and sassy doll who is sweet but has some bite if you cross her. Yeah, she always sticks up for her friends. She's a blogger who always knows what's popular. She knows all the trends and what is hot or not. <laughs> she has really good fashion tips, and even I follow them sometimes. <laughs> Her match today is with Stacy from Zombies. Stacy is one of the Mighty Shrimp and one of Bucky's closest followers. She is part of the Aces. Oh, and her real name is Lynette. <laughs> but she is sassy when it comes to cheering. She will defend her other cheer teammates till the end, especially if it is Bucky. This sassy twosome is Nicey. Next up, we start with Ken. Ken is the boyfriend of Barbie and loves her with a deep passion. He would do anything for her, including making a clone of her. Yeah, her name is Blarby, and Ken invented her so he could hang out because Barbie's always so busy. Oh yeah, Ken is an inventor too, and really handy. And Ken is being matched with Zed from Zombies. Zed comes to love Addison very much and doesn't let their differences get in the way. Zed is really athletic and a great dancer, but all he wants is for everyone to get along. Yeah, he really is the kindest guy around. Or zombie? around. Look, he's the kindest around. <laughs> this nice guy duo is Ken. For our final match today, we start with Barbie. The doll who started it all. Barbie is a fashion icon with a beautiful home and a wonderful boyfriend. And even with all that stuff, she is very humble and super kind. Barbie works hard and has fun, and she shows that it's okay for a girl to have it all. Her match today is with Addison. Addison is the cheerleader who wants to unite all the zombies and humans. She is always kind and super smart. And she's not afraid to be different. Like when she reveals that she has a wig and shows she actually has white hair. White or blonde, it doesn't matter because she totally rocks it. For sure, this is another girl who does it all. And the mash is Barbieson. Hey Jenna, can you guess what mashup we're gonna do? Hmm, could it be Dizzy Princesses and Zombies? Yep. So get fired up because someday is here. <laughs> it's time for zombies and Disney princesses and princes. Warning, there are spoilers ahead. Tell us your fave mashup in the comments below. Let's get started. Let's start off with the outsiders, AKA Zed and Aladdin. You know, it might not seem like it, but these guys have a lot in common. Zed is a zombie and it's his first year of high school. He spent his whole life in zombie town. Which is why he's excited to go to Seabrook High, so he can join the football team. He is proud to be a zombie and he thinks that everyone should accept them for who they are. But he still tries to fit in at Seabrook. His friend Eliza hacks into his Z-band so he can control how zombie he is. Aladdin obviously isn't a zombie, but he grew up on the outside looking in and wanted to live in a big palace. He falls in love with Jasmine and wishes he could be a prince so he could be with her. It was the law after all, Jasmine had to marry a prince. But in the end, Zed and Aladdin learn to accept who they are, and everyone else does too. We're calling this mashup Zeladdin. Next up is Brie and Anna. They both totally bring the pep. And of course, Anna was peppy for the first time in forever. She was going to be around other people. She so wanted to talk and hang out with the people of her kingdom, and maybe even meet a prince. <laughs> Brie needed to be on the cheer squad, and she totally deserved it because no one's as perky as she is. <laughs> and 
both of them don't fear the monsters that everyone else does. Well, Ray does at first, but she quickly gets over the fear. <laughs> and Anna knows that Elsa is not a monster. This optimistic mashup is called Brana. Now we have Bonzo and the Beast. All the normal people think the zombies are monsters, and the people in Belstown thought the Beast was one too. We think that Bonzo and Beast have a similar vibe going on. They may look like monsters, but they're really sweet guys. Bonzo loves hugging people, and zombies too, of course, and is always there for his friends. And the Beast had a soft and sweet side hiding under that furry exterior. Plus, they both have that grunting thing going on. Well, the Beast does. <laughs> Bonzo grunts are actually him speaking zombie. We're calling this mashup Bonzo Beast. Next is Eliza and Rapunzel. Both are really smart, even though they grew up not having much. How cool is it that Eliza made her own computer and was able to jailbreak her Z-band? So cool. The zombies don't really have a lot to work with in Zombie Town. And Rapunzel grew up in a pretty tower, but didn't have a lot either. She only had three books, which she read and reread and reread and reread. So they had their limitations, but are still smart and hardworking. Plus, they go above and beyond to help everyone. Totally, Eliza was willing to cheer to make a change, even though she hated cheering. And Rapunzel stood up to her dad, the king, because she had to protect the people of Corona. This mashup's called Elenzel. Last but not least, we have Addison and Elsa. Not only do these leading ladies have white hair, but they do with a lot of the same stuff. Both had to conceal a huge part of themselves to make everyone else happy. If you couldn't tell by now, no one in Seabrook liked freaks, aka people who are different, aka zombies. Not cool guys. <laughs> Addison wore a blonde wig so she would be just a normal girl and make the cheer squad. And we think you guys know Elsa's story by now. She concealed her ice powers with her gloves and hid herself from Arendelle. When Elsa's glove was taken off and when Addison took off her wig, people were so not nice to them. But they still ended up being accepted by everyone in the end. This mashup is called Elsa. Hey Dreamers! Welcome back to another mashup here at Dream Mining. By the way guys, this is my BFF Jamila, and today we have two of the most popular and most magical mashes ever. We are literally doing two of my favorites. It is making me dead, <laughs> and I almost feel like eating a nasty jelly bean because I'm so excited. <laughs> well, for the true fans out there, you probably picked up on the hints. We are mashing Harry Potter and Disney zombies. I am so excited. And it starts now. For our first mash, we will start with a guy who is very important to the Harry Potter series and kinda loose cannon. Yeah, he definitely starts off a little bad, but then it's definitely good. But it's hard to tell sometimes. We, of course, are talking about Sirius Black, Harry's godfather and mysterious friend. Sirius was a prisoner in Azkaban for years where he was dealing with dementors, so he couldn't wait to get out. And even though he seems bad, he actually is truly a good person and would do anything for Harry and the Order of the Phoenix. The best match for him is Bucky. Bucky is kinda mean to the zombies and other cheerleaders. And and he wants everything to be perfect. Like, he kicked a cheerleader off the squad for making one mistake. Wow, that's tough. But even though he is mean, he actually has a really good heart, just like Sirius. So for this mash, we are calling it Sir Bucky is Black. Our next mash, we start off with a fan favorite, Ron Weasley. Ron is the trusted sidekick of Harry, and even when he is a bit scared, he always does what's right and stands up for his friends. Oh, and he comes from a big family who are all so hilarious, like the twins who are always pulling pranks. They always had me cracking up, and sometimes I wish I had a best friend like Ron. Well, I can be your Ron. <laughs> <laughs> the best mash for Ron is Eliza. She is the close friend of Zed and is known for being a master with computers. Eliza sometimes has problems with the way humans treat zombies, but she always uses her smarts for good and is even able to bring Zed and Addison closer together. This best friend pair is Ron Lies Weasley. Coming up next, we have Albus Dumbledore. He is the great wizard and mentor to Harry. Dumbledore has a very special bond with Harry. Probably because he saved Harry when he was just a baby. <laughs> For sure. And he is the most kind character in Harry Potter. And that kindness is what we wanted to match with. Yeah, we thought a little outside the box for this one and saw the kindness in Dumbledore and wanted to find someone in zombies that was the same. Which is why we are matching him with Brie, the best friend of Addison and super nice human. Even though Brie is a little scared of zombies, she he never judges them and wants everyone to get along. So this kind duo is Dumblebree. 
Next up, we have Hermione Granger, the super smart muggle born who is best friends with Harry and Ron, and is also like way smarter. <laughs> yeah, she's so smart that she basically clones herself just so she can go to more classes. Wow, I don't think I would do that. Probably would just clone myself to eat more pizza. <laughs> she is kind and loyal, which is why we are mashing her with Addison, the head cheerleader at Seabrook. Addison likes Zed, but knows that people don't think zombies and humans get along. But she is out to prove them wrong. So for this girl power mash, we are calling it Hermoinison. It's time for our final mash of the day. And what a pair we have. We start off with the boy who lived, Harry Potter. Harry is the wizard who defeated Voldemort as a baby, and then again as a grown wizard during the Battle of Hogwarts. Harry is brave and sometimes a little too brave, which can lead him into trouble. The best match for him is none other than Zed, the popular zombie who wants to play football and wants everyone to get along. Zed is misunderstood, just like Harry, and wants to show that zombies aren't all that bad. This leading pair mash is Zeri Potted. Hey dreamers! We're totally obsessed with the DCOM zombies. Yeah, we saw it and we were all like, bam, that's lit. Fags. We were curious about the cast and wanted to know more about them. So let's do this. Zombies cast, then versus now. Tell us your favorite song from zombies down below. <laughs> let's get started. <laughs> Starting off with Zed, AKA Milo Mannheim. You guys can probably tell from zombies, but Milo is an amazing singer. <laughs> Duh, of course. He has performed in a lot of musicals like Rent and Footloose. He even won Best Leading Actor for his role in Generation Me. Yeah, he's a born actor, literally. <laughs> yeah, basically he grew up on TV sets, like Ghost Whisperer, because his mom is also an actress. Which is how he found his love for acting. And we are so happy about that, because we could not imagine anyone else playing Zed. Next up is Bucky, who has some serious moves. Which isn't surprising, because Trevor's been dancing since he was four years old. Like Milo, he grew up around his mom's career. His mom actually owned a dance studio. This guy is seriously talented. He dances, he acts, he sings, he raps, he plays the drums. And he was his high school's valedictorian. Is there anything he can't do? <laughs> Before Zombies, he was in a show called The Next Step, which is perfect for him because it's a show about dancers. And the show is still going on, so we're definitely gonna have to catch that. Next up is Kylie Russell. Okay, Eliza is one of my fave characters from Zombies. Well, actually, they all are. <laughs> Same. Kylie has been in a lot of shows, like Just Jordan and Eve. And she was in a short film called Virtual High. Plus, you might recognize this actress from another DCOM, Jump In. Oh, that's right, she played Corbin Blue's little sister, who was obsessed with Double Dutch. <laughs> Speaking of little sisters, let's talk Zoe. Okay, how cute is Kingston Foster? And so talented too. She also played one of Joey Gladstone's daughters on Fuller House. <laughs> Good thing Zoe is a lot less annoying than Joey's kids. Yikes. <laughs> Plus, she also dances. I mean, obviously. She was on a fire during the cheer competition. Another fired up dancer is Brie, played by Carla Jeffrey. If her face seems familiar, it's probably because you've seen her in a lot of other shows. And we know they're shows that you guys love, like Shake It Up, Good Luck Charlie, and iCarly. Her twin brother is also an actor on Disney shows like Ant Farm and Kickin' It. James Godfrey, aka Bonzo, is another Zombies cast member who's been on Disney before. Yep, he was in The Swap, another Disney Channel movie. He plays Porter Gibbs, who is kind of a bully. Yeah, but Bonzo is a total sweetheart. Oh, and he's also been on the show Shadowhunters, The Mortal Instruments. Fun fact, James is 6'7". Oh, man, I feel short. Yeah. <laughs> and last but not least is Meg Donnelly, aka Addison. She's been acting, singing, and dancing since she was six. Like Milo Mannheim, she's been doing theater for years. She was also in an episode of Celebrity Ghost Stories, so she's no stranger to the supernatural. <laughs> and she was one of the half-size heroes in Team Toon. It's a show about four friends who drew cartoon characters, only to find that they come to life. And since 2016, she's been on the sitcom American Housewife as Taylor Otto. I really hope this is Zombies too. I totally want to see these guys again. Same. Hey, hey dreamers. dreamers! Halloween is almost here and we've been wondering, what would the characters from Dizzy Zombies dress up as? Good question. Well, we got a couple of ideas, but tell us in the comments below what you think each character would dress as. Let's get started. First up, we have Bucky and Bree. As you guys know, Bree was really scared of the zombies. But she becomes their friend along the way. 
and Bucky really hated the zombies. Like, chill out, dude. <laughs> but like everyone else, he learns to accept them. We think they dress up as zombies for Halloween. Yeah, and show some love for their new friends. Next up, we have the cutest of characters. TBH, Zoe would look adorable in any costume. Seriously, she'd slay as a pumpkin or a princess or a cheerleader. Oh, I got it, a puppy. <gasps> that would be so perfect. She would be twinning with her new puppy. Now let's talk about Eliza. AKA the brains behind the zombie revolution. We think she dressed up as Evie from Descendants. We'd totally do the same, and we kinda did. Right, our friend Miranda dressed up as Mal last year. Anyway, Evie is smart too. And just like Eliza, she just wants her people, AKA the villains, to be given a fair chance. Exactly, like how Eliza wants the zombies to be treated equally. Honestly, this costume is perfect for her. <laughs> Coming up now is Bonzo. Like other zombies, Bonzo has the ability of super speed. We think his costume would be pretty obvious, the Flash. And last up, we have Addison and Zed. We think that they would totally do a couple's costume. Well, they kind of are one in real life. He's a football player and she's a cheerleader. True, we think that they'd go for the modern classic, Will and Kate. <sighs> Name a more iconic couple, the late. <laughs> <laughs> or they could dress up as Danny Zuko and Sandy from Grease. Um, yes, it's perfect too, cause Zombies is a musical, like Grease. Disney, you totally need to do a Zombies Halloween special. So Dreamers, which Halloween costume do you like for Zed and Addison? That's it Dreamers, don't forget to follow us on Instagram. And definitely don't forget to subscribe for more Zombies. See you next time, bye. Bye.